Hello, Luke the Geek of Steel here, and I'm back with another comic review. DC Comics were kind enough to send me an issue of No Justice number one to read and review. I've read it a few times so I can get my head around what's going on, and it is an amazing issue. Now, the front cover isn't actually blank. The actual cover art and art throughout the comic is by Francis Manipal, and it is glorious. The comic is written by Scott Snyder, James Tinian IV, and Joshua Williamson. As I said before, the art is by Francis Manipal, and fantastic colours throughout by Hi-Fi. So, first of all, let's talk about the artwork. Each page is phenomenal. There are bright, sharp colours and heroes and villains to focus your attention onto. And each page just, there's something new that leaps off at you. I couldn't have written this synopsis better, and it has been taken directly from DCComics.com. <coughs> In this kickoff issue to the four-issue miniseries, after Brainiac systematically takes down all of Earth's super teams, the last thing the League expects is for him to ask for their help. Without their aid, his home planet and the universe are both doomed. I honestly couldn't have written that better myself, and I didn't. In the story, there are dozens of heroes and villains all on the page at one time at some points, so you might think that this would confuse the reader. It doesn't at all. The writing is clear, precise, dramatic, and it really just sucks you into the story. Now, sadly, this comic had to end, but when it did, it ended on a massive, massive cliffhanger. And issue two, I cannot wait to find out what happens next. So my review of Justice League No Justice. It's a big two thumbs up. Uh, you've got fantastic artwork, colouring, writing. You've got heroes and villains all on the same page at once. And in one particular scene, Superman just punches Brainiac right in the jaw. It was a very, very fun read. And I can't wait to see where the team take this story next. As I said before, there are only four issues in this miniseries. I'm guessing that the rest of the run of these comics is going to be equally as impressive. I'm sure the team behind it will continue this quality of work. And I can't wait to see where they take it next. This comic is available now. If you've read it, you know how good it is. And if you've not read it, you are in for a treat. Thank you DC Comics for sending me this copy to review. I'm Luke the Geek of Steel, and I will see you next time.